and what's up everybody i am back with another tier list video it is we did the pringles tier list earlier in the week we're doing this time the mountain dew tier list for 2022 we got to 44 mountain dew reviews this year which means pringle reviews past mountain dew reviews um, because unlike, unlike Pringle flavors, I don't feel comfortable buying Mountain Dew flavors online and having them shipped. It's easier to ship Pringles because you know they're not going to go stale and there's not going to be damages to the product. Um, and that kind of thing it also lasts longer. Um, uh, it's Pringles. So, you know, a lot of the Mountain Dew reviews I, I have to buy myself in stores or, and stuff like that. It's of course, when it comes to the online exclusives, I don't really have a choice, but I trust it because it's coming from straight from Mountain Dew itself, not from a third-party seller. Um, that doesn't mean I haven't seen it work in the past. It just is, I don't want to rely on that. It's also more expensive most of the time, um, so that's why. But so most of these are new. Re all these are pretty much new releases. That's why I'm saying that. Um, we had a quick. This was a pretty good year for Mountain Dew uh, as far as new releases go. Um, it wasn't great, wasn't awful either, so we're going to get down into it. All these are here, and just like I said in the last, in the Pringle tier list, I'm going to link this tier list. This is my own tier list. I'm going to link it down in the description of this video, and you guys can make your own. Um, because I made it myself, I had to stick with the criteria that I am only going to add flavors that I have reviewed in the past, meaning diet and zero sugar, which have been on the last couple tier lists, are not on this one. Um, so it only it's only ones that I have reviewed. Um, and I know you guys probably haven't tried all of these. Um, but there you go. We can try these now. And uh, you can rank them based on how many you've tried. So anyways. And also I don't like how the tier master tier list thing did it in alphabetical order. Again. Kind of annoying. But oh well. All of them are here. And we got the same S through F kind of thing going on again. So let's just jump right into it. We got Baja Blast up first. Let's say best for first. You know, it's always best for last. This time I'm doing best for first. My number one flavor still. Uh, but always going to be number one. And it's a uh, always will be. Even so, it's a, it's a beautiful flavor. Definite, definite, definite S tier. All right, now we're moving on to another. Well, I guess all the Bajas are going to be first, aren't they? Um, this one is Baja Deep Dive. I didn't think this one tasted all, any different than the regular Baja Blast. Apparently, it had a mix of pitch black in there, but I did not taste that. It tasted exactly like Baja Blast to me. But because it's just a ripoff of Baja Blast, I can only put it in the A tier. It's still very good, but I can only put it in the A tier. And then we got Baja, so we did Baja, this would be Baja Flash. This one was just very, very sweet. It's going to go on a D tier. It was very sweet, just sweet on sweet with pineapple and the sugar and the pop and and, and Mountain Dew and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's why it's, it's a D tier. It's not bad. It's just hard to drink unless you're really into sweets. Um, that's why it's going on the D tier. And then we got Baja Gold. This is this year's summer flavor. They're doing this again next year, I think, as well. I think. I don't know who they are. I think they are. Um, but this one wasn't as bad. It's going to go mid. Mid. C tier. Uh, easy one there. Nothing really else I want to say about that one. And honestly, well, Baja, Baja Mango Jam, I think I'm going to put down D as well. And then Baja Punch, I think I'm going to put in the C tier. Because it ripped off uh, Typhoon. The mango one, the mango one did not rip off, um, did not rip off Typhoon, but it did, it was not great. Like, it wasn't, it was just mid, but it wasn't like, this, like, Baja Punch is the definition of, like, a mid pop, because it's just, like, orange pop. But, you know, it's not, but this one's not on the same level as this one, so you gotta sit a little bit lower. Then we get Berry Monsoon, which I have not had in forever. I need to get back to Sam's Club and try some more of this but it's definitely an a tier flavor very refreshing very good uh definitely a good one i hope it stays around uh, i really like that one blue shock is another one that i haven't had in a while uh only had it in the freeze 
Uh, never had a drink. Because it's a freeze exclusive. And it's going in the B tier. It was nothing special. But it was good. You know, it's just an, it's just one of those generic blue flavors. But it was like a little bit above mid. Um, but it was still really good. I, I would lo- I'm curious how it would taste as a drink, not as a freeze. Because as a freeze... You have to worry about a lot more about like syrup consistency and also it melts and what happens with that and and keeping it all mixed together and and that kind of stuff with the ice that might dilute the flavoring. So I'd like to see what it would be like in actual as a drink. I don't know if I'll ever get that chance because it's sold better as a freeze and that's why they kept it as a freeze. All right, then we got Cake Smash. Cake Smash is pretty good. I'm going to put it in the... Ooh. A. I'm going to give it an A tier. Um, it's good. It, it's a it's very good birthday cake flavor. Um, and I enjoyed it. I wish it wasn't so hard to get, but it was. Uh, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Uh, but it was a very solid flavor. I wouldn't mind if it did come back and, like, stuck as a more popular thing. Or, like, more widespread. I would definitely get it. A is a good spot for it. It's not like exceptional, but it is a good, good solid flavor. Then nah, here's the one. Here's a throwback one I haven't uh, tried in forever. This one is citrus cherry. Citrus cherry is gonna go in the B, B tier. Um, it wasn't great. It left sort of like an aftertaste that they kind of downgraded its like goodness to me. It's kind of like, like a copperish metallic aftertaste. I don't know if it's because I had it in cans or not. It just wasn't. It wasn't great. It, it just wasn't wasn't great at all. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't great. I guess it wasn't great. What am I? What am I saying? What am I saying? I have a headache. That's why I can't talk. Anyway, it was good, but not great. That's that's what I can say for it. Um, then we get on to Code Red. Code Red's also a B tier flavor for me. Uh, again, good, not great. Um, especially they got the new label this year for that one, um, but you know it doesn't really change the taste at all. Didn't really at all. Now we get Cyclone. I think it was a little harsh on Cyclone, putting it all the way down in the uh, E tier. I'm gonna move it up to D. It's gonna be in the D tier this year. I, have, I also haven't had this one in a while, but I remember it being not great at all um uh, it gave me big sangrita blast vibes uh i never had sangrita blast i would love to, have to review sangrita blast one day but i don't think it's ever going to come back um but this one was yeah, it just wasn't great you know it wasn't that truly really wasn't great darkberry bash i have every now and then um uh, because it's applebee's exclusive and that's a staple of the pringles and company trip uh places I don't know. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's. You remember in the last in the Pringles tier list? I said that pizza is like a hit or miss. This one's kind of like the pizza one, where it's a hit or miss. That's why I kind of got to put it in the same tier as I put the pizza one, because I'm putting the same reasoning towards it in the B tier. It could easily go up to A tier if it was more consistently like high on the flavor, um, but he's, the last few times I've had it has not been. So that's why it's going in, uh, in B. All right, then we got Do SA. I'd love to have some more Do SA. Sadly, I cannot. But where should I rank this? Whoa! Hi. Okay. I don't know what I did there. But anyway, I'm gonna put that one in the A tier. Now here's why. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not great. Why do you keep saying it's not great? Why do you saying it's not great? It's good. It's really good. Really good flavor. Um, it's just not exceptional. That's why I put it in the A tier. But it's a really solid flavor. I would like to see it come back. Uh, but I know they're going with another summer exclusive one next year. Uh, that's going to be in the place of what Do SA would have been in. So maybe we'll see it come back by popular demand. Do man. Her. Are you here for this one? Can I bear to put it in F? Can I bear? Yes, I can. This one was bad. I don't know what their reasoning is behind Flamin' Hot coming out. Because um, I have to think about it as the original that was the online store exclusive 
which was their second iteration that after the disaster that was Cake Smash, this one was somehow even worse releasing out. And then the flavor itself was awful. Um, they brought out a new version to put in stores, and they did a whole Flamin' Hot event, which we went to in Hell, Michigan. Pringles Sun Company was on site there that day. Great day that was. Um, but it, the, and we got to try the new, I actually got to try the new one, um, which I didn't make its own review because I had already reviewed the original Flamin' Hot. It's in the vlog, though. You can go check it out. Um, but it wasn't any better. Like, it wasn't great. Like, it wasn't barely any better like it it wasn't as bad but it was only like a tiny 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 step up and it's still in the f tier for me awful flavor awful concept i don't know how this ever came to be um but what was this sh what a shame the event was cool though i'm glad they did the event i really enjoyed the event you know what just because of the event i'm gonna put up the e just because of the, if e for event just because for the event that they did. I'm going to move it up to E tier. It was good. It was good. All right. Then we got Frostbite. Frostbite I've had quite a bit of recently. It's going to go in the A tier. Um, I actually credit Walmart for actually realizing that this is an exclusive flavor to their stores and actually restocking Frostbite. Frostbite, Frostbite in 12 packs and in the bottles again. Um, it's going to be an A tier. It's a solid flavor. It's really good. It's another generic blue one, but it's good on flavor. It's good on taste. Um, it's always always a good enjoyable one in my opinion. So good A tier there. This is the newest one or the newest one that I reviewed. I guess it is also the newest player, Fruit Quake. This one was just I don't know. I've never had actual like fruit cake. I don't. It's a really bad rap, or at least it used to. Um, I don't know. A D tier is a good spot for it, just because. The color was weird, and it tasted like cranberry, but it wasn't really cranberry. Um, it's just like they they didn't quite hit their mark with this one, I think. It wasn't bad. A lot of their holiday ones have been kind of a flop recently, though, um, and this one was no exception. All right, and this one, you might be wondering why there's a Game Fuel one on here, even though I never reviewed a Game Fuel. Actually, I did review a Game Fuel. It was the... Berry Lime one, I think it was called. It's a, it was Speedway. I had to. It was in. It's a found. It's a not found. It's a freeze only one. But when I got it, it was only liquid. So I guess I kind of got to taste it, but it is only like a freeze one at Speedways now. But I couldn't find any of it as a freeze, as picture. So I put a can of the when it was a, a drink. This one was mid. C tier, mid, mid. Very, very mid. Mid, mid, mid. Uh, nothing else to really say about that one. Then an actual Game Fuel one that I got to try. Cur Cur Courageous Sorbet. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I, I still think it's Sherbert. I don't know why. There's an SH and then we have to say Sorbet, but whatever. Um, or no O's at R either. It was a really weird word pronunciation, but this one was just mid too. Um, so. There you go. Uh, nothing else I really got to say about that one. And then I got Gingerbread Snap. This was last year's holiday exclusive. Um, and I got to say, it was about on the same level as Fruit Quake. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Sorry, I can't put I can't, I can't put Gingerbread Snap on the same level as Fruit Quake, but I also can't put it on the same level as Flamin' Hot. Flamin' Hot's got to move down. Uh, Gingerbread Snap. I was able to drink it. But man... Man, did it give me some weird vibes. Ooh. E tier for sure. Now, Goji. Goji Citrus Strawberry. This one is going in the uh, A tier. I'd love to try it again. I've had a couple opportunities to try it again, but I have decided not to each time um, for for reasons. Um, but I'd love to give it another shot because it's, it's a really good flavor. I really like that one. Um, I can't put it on the same level as Baja Blast. I just can't. I just can't, but awesome flavor, awesome, awesome flavor. I'll put ice in C tier. Actually, no, I can't. No. F. You know why? It's Sprite. It's Sprite. That's all it is. It's Sprite. I can't. I can't rank it on flavors that are actually their own Mountain Dew flavor, and that is right. I can't. It's all it is. It's Sprite. 
if you like Sprite, you like this one. Thankfully, it's gone though, so I uh, can't uh, can't get it anymore unless you buy it online somehow. Then this one's Legend. Legend I had most recently at the time of recording this. This is a Buffalo Wild Wings exclusive, and just like Darkberry Bash, it is a hit or miss as far as like the flavor level of it. Last time I had it, it was pretty good. I've had it a couple of times since, or since like it came out. Um, but yeah, it, it's just it's okay. It's okay. It, it's just okay. Uh, so it's a good B. If I'm gonna say it's hit or miss, I gotta put it in the B tier with uh, Dark Berry Bash. All right, here's Liberty Brew. Liberty Brew is another B. It's just a generic blue one, but it wasn't as strong as the others, uh, so I, I gotta put it in the B tier. Nothing else I really need to say about that one. It's not really it's a unique thing. Livewire. I think Livewire is going to get an upgrade. Uh, also, got oh, I did get an upgrade because it got a new label, or a new logo and everything, uh, but Livewire is going to be in the B tier. I think last time I uh, tried, last time I did a tier list of it, I said that Livewire is like, it's, it's a bad orange crush. It, last time I had it, which was pretty recently at the time of recording this, it tasted better. So, I, uh, that's why I'm putting in the B tier. Nothing else I really need to say about that one either. Major Melon, still love it. Still really good flavor. Definitely a good A tier flavor. I haven't had it in a while. I really want to. Um, it's getting, it's, it, they're surprisingly keeping up stock of it. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. It's been almost two years now since it came out. And, uh, it's, they're still rocking with, with Major Melon. I'm pretty surprised. Um, then we got Maui Burst, the Dollar General exclusive Maui Burst. I'm going to put this one in the B tier as well. It wasn't a bad flavor. It really wasn't. I, it just, it was Better than mid, but not like good. Like not like great, I should say. Uh, I would love to have this one again, but Dollar Generals are very sketchy places to be, and you know it's scary. But I heard that they're getting twelve packs. I heard Major Melon uh, Maui Burst twelve packs might be a thing next year, so maybe I'll be able to finally add it to the grand twelve pack collection. Maybe. Still gotta add Live Wire too. Uh, but they don't sell those anywhere anymore. Or not where anywhere I am, at least. Merry Mashup E tier. Um, another one that it, it's kind of like Fruit Quick. It was very heavy on the cranberry, and that was intentional. Um, just not. Maybe it's because I had it in the morning. Uh, why? I just It just did not leave a good taste in my mouth at all. It just didn't. I was very disappointed with this one. Um, but a good E, e tier, for sure. And then finally we get to the regular. Regular A tier. Uh, really good. Really good flavor. Um, absolutely enjoyed it. So uh, always a good drink. Always a good one. Um, everywhere you go. Um, and then we get to Overdrive, which is one of the newest ones. This is a Casey's exclusive. Uh, Overdrive was very disappointing. I... I, I, maybe it's because I had it in the fountain. Maybe it's because I had it, like, when it was hot. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know why it was so bad. I, it's just, it wasn't, I guess I can say, I guess I can't call it bad. But I can't. I don't know. I can't. I don't know where to exactly rank this thing. I don't. But, good D tier for me purple thunder purple thunder got a boost to the b tier i actually got a cool little purple thunder merch for the desk um but the first time i had this in the actual review i did of purple thunder it was the flavor just really wasn't there i don't know it's because it's the lack of syrup in the fountain or what the second time i had it when i got when i got this thing it was better a lot better um, which saved it and gave it a B tier ranking. It's still not great, but it's not. It's, it's, it's still good. It's a good flavor. Um, Ever Circle K picked up, and then we got Real Sugar, or better known as Throwback. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put this one. Probably B. Probably B. B is a good spot for it, I think. Um, it was, it's a really, actually, a 
I'm put in A. I haven't had it in forever. I need to have it again. But I remember it being a really good flavor. Um, it differentiates itself from the original well. Um, I guess it is the original, but from regular Mountain Dew, I should say. Uh, very well. So that's a good one. Spark. Love Spark. Spark's going in A. Uh, definite, amazing, amazing flavor. Really glad they decided to move that one to the 12 packs and to the uh, the bottles. Good, good idea on you, uh, PepsiCo. Okay, so Sweet Lightning. Um, so I actually did get an opportunity to finally try Sweet Lightning again a little while ago, uh, which is the first time I'd ever had it since the review. I gotta say, it's not the worst one I've ever had anymore. But it's not good. It's not good. Uh, but it does go up from F to E. So, there, there you go. I gave it another chance. It didn't really impress me. That's all I gotta say. So, there you go. Thrashed Apple, which has been in the news recently because it was heard is gonna be discontinued, and then they called their bluff, then we people called their bluff, and they, uh, revoked that statement. So it's apparently sticking around. Cool. Uh, the Kroger exclusive... Definite A tier. Good flavor, really, all around. Come to like it. I, I After the after the um, initial review I did of Thrash Apple, I probably put in B or C, but I'm, I've come to like it. I put it in A. Another new release this year was Typhoon. Online exclusive. Uh, also the last online exclusive so far. Finally got a good chance to try this one, and I was just, it was just mid. It was just mid. Uh, it's on the same level as Baja Punch. The exact same thing. Like I thought it was going to be. Uh, cool can design, though. Gotta admit, I'm glad I got a chance to try it, though. I really am. Alright, and then we got Uproar. This is the food, food, food Line exclusive. And this one's also just mid. Nothing really special to say about that one. Vibe. Vibe, I have to put there. It's mid. It's just like the regular, which is why I get it down. It goes down so much, but just a little bit sweeter. So I don't know. I'm not. I, it'd be hard for me to try this again because the witch witch we tried it at uh, is now closed. Um, but I don't know. It's just it's just like the original. This is really all this. And then Voltage. Voltage is also got a new label this year. It's in the B tier now. It's another generic blue one. Kind of all I got to say about it. But it's a solid flavor. It's the, one of the originals. It's a classic. Everyone loves it. I got to say I love it too. But I can't rank it any higher than B. I really can't. All right, now to the Voodoos. First up, 2019 Voodoo. Easy S for me. 2020 Voodoo. Also an S. I think they're both really the same in taste. But they're both amazing flavors. Blew me out of the water. 2021 Voodoo. I just can't put any higher than the A tier. Whoa, hello. Uh, I cannot put any higher than A. I think I put it in S before, but... Nope. Cannot put it any higher now. I. It was just... It's a small step down, but it's enough to move it down to the A tier, I gotta say. And then finally, and then 2022 Voodoo... 2022 Voodoo is going to go in the D tier. This one was pretty disappointing, in my opinion. I did not... I don't know. They've been seeming to kind of decrease in quality a little bit every year. And they're coming out with a Voodoo 5 this year. Or, no, 2023. Hopefully, maybe they can redeem themselves. Otherwise, it might be the end of Voodoo, I gotta say. Um, and then, finally, Whiteout. Whiteout's another mid one, because I think it just tastes like the regular Mountain Dew, but a little bit smoother of a taste. But nothing really special to differentiate itself from the regular. Or even like Vibe or Real Sugar or any others. So uh, that's a good position to put it in, in my opinion. Alright, tier rankings. Here we go. 3 in the S tier. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 in the A tier. 10 in B. 8 in the C tier. Six in the D tier, three in the E tier, and two in the F tier. So, um, not as like wide, not as like a much of a distribution as the Pringles one, 
But uh, still a very wide range of, of rankings there. So it's only going to get wider as I get wider trying more of these flavors. Um, that's going to do it for this tier list. That's going to do it for Mountain Dew 2022. Um, they will be back next year. There will be definitely more reviews. I'm going to keep doing these uh, as early as possibly New Year's Day. So uh, in a few days, actually. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's got some specials coming up. Cannot wait. It's going to be a big year. I already know it. Um, because we got a very, very special flavor getting released, re-released, I should say, next month. Voodoo's coming out. We got a summer one coming out. And, pro and probably, I think, Baja's is another holiday one coming out. Got more. And maybe we'll go hunt for some already existing ones out in the open, in the wild. Maybe we'll see. Um, that's going to do it for this tier list, though. Again, I'm going to link the tier list in the description of this video so you guys can go rank yours, your uh, Mountain Dew flavors, um, and also give your opinions on... Give you, please give your opinions in the comment section down below my, about my rankings. Uh, tell me what your rankings were and why. Uh, I love to hear your opinions and everything. So that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for much more amazing content. And until next time, I will see you guys next year for Mountain Dew. Goodbye.